Oh, no! Not her! Huh? Stop it! You're copying me! Quit it! No, you quit it! Do you know her? I don't just know her. I despise her. What do you think you're doing sitting next to my Adrikins? That's my seat! Don't ever touch me again. Don't ever speak to me again. Don't ever look at me again. Konbanwa, Tsurugi-san. Dozo Yoroshiku Onigashimasu. Gabriel-san, per our discussion at our last meeting, I've brought these documents. Domo arigato, Tsurugi-san. Please follow me. I'm glad to see you again, Kagami. Me too, Adrian. Okay, we need a plan. What do you mean, a plan? A plan, you know, a seat chart of the theater. I don't believe this. Adrian and Kagami are going to be sitting next to each other while I'm two rows behind? Utterly ridiculous. Yeah, well, I don't even have a seat, so... If we get rid of Kagami before the movie starts, there'll be an extra seat for you. We can't do that. Remember what you said to me once, Marinette? All that is necessary for the triumph of evil is that good people do nothing. Well, today, the evil is her and the good people are us. I'm not too sure about this. Fine, keep on not being sure about it. And tomorrow, Adrian and Kagami will be on a plane headed for Japan. Adrian? Japan? There's no way! You think? They're already going to the movies together. Their parents are signing papers together. <gasps> we can't let her do that! Marinette, surely you're not going to team up with Chloe. I'm just stopping Kagami from kidnapping Adrian and taking him off to Japan. He's too nice to see what she's really up to. Well, I'm more of a dog person. All right. Garbage bag, ladle, mm, what? I asked you to get some rope. All I could find was this cooking string. You know, for tying up roasts. Do I look like someone who knows anything about cooking roasts? Hey, wait! Um, Chloe, we can't do this! Listen, Marinette, if we don't sacrifice a few macarons now, Adrian will be eating sushi for the rest of his life! You'd better not screw this up, Dupin Chang. <laughs> I'm doing this for you, Adrian. Rena Rouge and Carapace are so tacky. I just don't understand why Ladybug keeps calling them in when I, Queen Bee. Good morning, everyone! Hey, hey Milo. Milo! Yeah, let's go study for that test. Uh. What test? The science test this afternoon? Oh, come on, I'll get you up to speed. Were you talking about Ladybug? Uh, who are you again? That's Lila. She's in our class. Really? Well, she clearly didn't make a big impression on me. <laughs> oh, I love your sense of humor. I remember now that Ladybug's mentioned it a few times. <laughs> You talk to Ladybug? Of course. She and I are very close friends, a bit like you used to be back in the day. Whenever I feel like seeing her, I've got a magic command that calls her to me right away. Magic? Yeah, just like your signal to summon her, except mine works every time. Mm, well, to each her own. Don't you want to know what it is? If you insist. <laughs> If Ladybug doesn't come to you with that, then you'll know she's not a true friend. Go ahead, I'll meet you. Uh. <laughs> Chloe? What do you want, Du Pen Chang? I don't know what Lila just told you, but you should watch out for her. Besides, I'm sure Ladybug will come and see you anyway, with or without magic. You making fun of me right now? No, no I'm not! I can see Ladybug whenever I feel like it, okay? Ladybug. Colin! Bug on! Chloe! Where did she go? Ladybug's going to think I'm incompetent! 
you just one question. Do you enjoy being Ladybug's servant? Having to wait for her to loan you a miraculous? Wouldn't you rather have boundless powers of your own? Uh, that's three questions. Come with us, Chloe. You can be Queen Bee whenever you want. Ladybug gave me a new chance, so I'll give her one, too. You're going to regret this. You're going to regret underestimating me, you despicable bird! What would happen if I took this from you? <laughs> uh, Where did she go? Uh, oh. People of Paris, listen to Miracle Queen's first order. From now on, no one will have to keep his identity a secret. All the miraculous wearers, come to me! Yes, yes, no more hiding. Nerdy Max, the fake reporter, DJ Headache? What has possessed Ladybug to choose such losers as her superheroes? A oh, simple little Kim, too. For a moment there, I thought you only had to wear glasses to get a miraculous. Don't know this one, he's cute. But he gets his clothes from a dumpster. Oh no, not this one. Oh, my such ridiculous choices. Utterly ridiculous. Anyway, grab your miraculous. <gasps> Why don't they take any? Surely because the miraculous of the moron and the pompous brat do not exist. Or maybe someone else is already wearing them. Come on, hurry up and transform my pawns. Tricks, let's pounce. Kelki, full gallop. Sash, scale, slither. Shupu, showtime. You were once Ladybug and Cat Noir's minions, but from now on, you will be Miracle Queen's royal guard! <clears throat> Ladybug, Cat Noir, I'm gonna use your own weapons to defeat you. You'll so regret not choosing me! I, Wang Fu, hereby relinquish the Miracle Box and name Ladybug the new guardian! <laughs> No! Master. No! It's my miracle box! Mine! I'm the guardian! I'm the queen! Ha ha! Tell him to give me my box back! How disappointing. <laughs> I'll take care of them. You take care of the box. Sorry, but I think this belongs to me now. I don't need all those stupid miraculous anyway. I only need the Queen Bee. Besides, you're lame, and Paris is lame. I'm going to New York with Mommy, and I'll be the one and only Queen Bee there, and I'll save the world all by myself without you and your ridiculous, poorly chosen friends. Utterly poorly chosen. I'm sorry, Chloe. But I can't let you do that. Well, if that's the way it is, I'm no longer your fan, Ladybug. I don't love you anymore, and I'm still going to leave with Mommy anyway, because you don't deserve to breathe the same air I do. 